three six seven words down. Um Rabbi Zero the dot. Um Rabbi Zero mother Rabbi Shimon Lakish the Indian Shabbos Rish Lakish concedes. This is Shabbos she ain't pay him until he has to master. This is a very big chumra the Rishami has. Which uh, we don't pass him like, although the Rambam seems to hold this way, that a peo, which is the Ushami's term for Tzuras Pesach, right, yeah, the two poles right, with the thing on top, with the, uh, right. with the string on top, does not work for more than ten amos. Oh. It can't be longer than ten amos. That's be, the, the gap between the two poles cannot be more than ten amos. Which is a very big chumrah because obviously we use it for far, far more extensive uh, distances like that. Um, Rabbi Chagai, Rabbi Chagai said, Masnisa Amr came. You can really assume that that's true from learning our Mishnah. Because our Mishnah said, gave a case, a scenario of, Rekifin Shloshu Chavolim Zeh Lemalim Zeh, where you made a rope fence made out of three ropes, one on top of the other, right? You know, to the height of ten Vachim, right? Im Omer Achapeh Matel Siyesim Yasser, if you're going to say, that a Tzuras Pesach, the, uh, the the frame of the doorway, works for more than ten amos, so then why are you bothering using three ropes? Kamokin Chevel Echot. You use one rope and put the rope on top of the, the pole instead of putting three ropes, one on top of the other, right? Rabbi Yenem Rabbi said, Rabbi actually, boy, Rabbi Yenem said, Hoda payer, I'm or yes. I'm this this payer. This sort of says how does it work? I'm a itmar. Literally, it means I what was it said? But can, w- what is its definition? Mila malon is the tzuras abetzach on top of the poles. I mean, it can't even be on the side of the poles. But it begs the question, Yochaserven, right? How does the tzuras vessel look? Yeah, we asking it can't be, but the Yushami is now asking: Can it be actually the wire be attached to the side of the poles or not? Oh. Okay. Can you go across on the side? No. What do you mean go across on the side? I'm not sure this. Well, think of an electric pole, right? Oh, right. Okay. And you put instead of the the, the wire being on top, the wire the side, being on the yeah, side. Right. Okay. So in Tamar, if you're going to say that, um, now here the gears is messed up. Should be in Tamar minatzad. If you're going to say that works on the side, koshke milamalo, it certainly works on the top. In Tamar Milamalo, if it works on the top, however, Haminatzad, I have just reversed all the words here. Haminatzad, low, right? Uh, then it doesn't work on the side. It, it could, in other words, it, uh, on top, it's much more like a door frame. So therefore, it, if it works on top, it doesn't necessarily mean it would work on the side. But if it does work even on the side of the uh, pole, so Sen certainly does work on top, right? So it says Amara. It certainly does work. No, it certainly does. It certainly does work on time. Okay. In Tamar Milamalon, maybe you're going to say that it works on top, right? Specifically on top. Yo, some Rabbi Chagai. The Rabbi Chagai made a good point. In other words, Rabbi Chagai said, I, I don't understand why in our Mishnah we require three ropes, one on top of each other. If a Tzuras Pesa works for more than ten Amos, so they just put up a Tzuras Pesach, right? So in Tamar Milamalon, if you're going to say that soy bar on top, I goofed, slight goof. In Tamar Milamalon says, if you're going to, it means if, if you're going to say our Mishnah story about where the ropes are on top of the, there's a rope on top of the pole. In other words, our Mishnah spoke about a case where there's three poles, right? Three ropes. Mm-hmm. One on top of each other. Mm-hmm. So if you're going to say, Excuse me. That the three ropes go through, let's say like this, one, two, and then three, right? Mm-hmm. If you're going to say it's like that, so then Rabbi Chagai is a good point. In other words, don't do these two bottom ones. It's only the one on top, right? So, again, in Terminal Malo, Yosem Rabbi Chagai. However, in Terminal Malo, if you're going to say our mission is talking about, as is more likely, as a matter of fact, that the ropes are going on the side, see, like this. One, yeah. two, three, right? In Tamar Minatzad, it's going to the side. So then, Lom Rabbi Chagai Klum. Rabbi Chagai's statement was not a valid statement because Rabbi Chagai would say, 
our Mishnah seems to indicate that Tzuras and Pesel shouldn't work for more than ten amos, because our Mishnah is saying that you should make three ropes, and if Tzuras and Pesel works, so Tzuras and Pesel it could be instead of ropes. So the Gemara is saying that's only true if we're talking our Mishnah about a case where the ropes go over the top, but the ropes go over the side, and you do gain very much by not actually uh, using the Tzuras and Pesel on top, because the Tzuras and Pesel on top would require require you to put up wire all over on the top of your pole and this way you have pre-existing wire on the side of your pole so use that in order to constitute a fence right even though it doesn't constitute a first pesach you gain the fact that you don't have to put up additional pole additional wires you just use th- these which are part and parcel of your fence again assuming that the substance of the wa- of the wires is a tefach and that uh, the different gap between them is less than three for him, so that, that way you have a um, full ten terrible set. Says more, my I understand. In Lim La, on a Ray Mali, what am I top? What am I top? Right? No, you're saying uh, it, it, the mission is advantageous because they're on the side, because they're on the side. So it says, come on, you know what? Don't put them on the side. Put them on top, and you'll still and you'll have the advantage of only needing one wire, right? Right? No matter, what, so just put them wherever you want, uh, wherever necessary. We we'll only use one anywhere. This is difficult. When do you ever need three ropes? Just advise the guy to use one rope, put it on top. It works only on top, and on the side it works on the side. But you shouldn't need three ropes. So it says where I the case sorin, there I bought enough case sorin in the Golan. B'shem Rabbi Yirmi, and then Rabbi Yirmi said, the Pater ex- explained that it's talking about B'shosi, it can mean Dakron. It's talking about where the um, the fence is made like this, actually. So why? So you can't put a rope on top. You can't put a rope on top. Okay, so it's... You can't put a rope on top. So since you can't put a rope on top, I don't know if it's exactly like this, a wire or something like that. Now, the bottom line is that you can't get a rope on top properly, right? So therefore, they, the mission is advising you to put three ropes on the side in order that it should be able to work out. But ain't a chanami. If you can't put one on top, put one on top and resolves the whole issue. Okay? So it says the Gemara. By the way, in the... Uh, there's a certain here in the community which will remain nameless. <laughs> they, <laughs> yeah, they use a uh, where they put up the lechayim. One of the things which I think is no good is that uh, sometimes they'll have this is an electric pole. Sometimes they'll have a lechi which goes like this. That's a U guard, what they call a U guard. It goes over here, and then the wire will be over here. For some reason, there would be like a blockage over here where they couldn't put up the lechi, some blockage. So, what they'll do is they'll actually put the lechi on the other side of the electric pole and have a curve around until it gets to underneath the, uh, until it gets to underneath the wire, which is. No good, because that's similar to our case over here. Otherwise, you'd be able to put it over here on the top, right? But there are limits to how much you could be able to curve, so therefore, there's a problem when the Luchayim curve around too much. Okay? So, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's similar to our, so that's why our studio says that here, the, 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 the wire has to go, go on top, and in a case where you have a funny shaped fence, you can't put it on top, so that's why I should advise is using three ropes on the side, which will eliminate that problem. Okay? Says more further. Uh, Rabbi Avdimi the Mincha, uh, uh, Rabbi Zir and Rabbi Avdimi the Mincha, the Shem Rabbi the the Chaifa, the Shem Rabbi Beloy said, Legova Filoa Meyamo, Tursa Pesach could be even up to 100 Amas high. As opposed to uh, a Korah, how high up can a Korah be? 20, right. This can only be up to, this can even be up to 100. The reason for that is because a Korah is, is a reminder, and a reminder you have to be able to see. A Tursa Pesach is a, um, is a wall, and nobody has to be able to see it. 
Okay. So as long as it's there, it's a wall. So it says Umara Rabbi Rabbi said, Oh the Tamalini Kilaim. No, no, no. If there's a Kilaim, perhaps that is the case. That he came up to Ajar Amasai. I mean a Travis in terms of Shabbos, let a pay a givo I mean a Korah. A paya may not be lower, higher than a Korah means it can't be higher than twenty Amas because it also has to serve to remind people not to carry beyond where it is placed. We don't pass that way, but that's what he holds. Om Rebbe, I see Om Rebbe, he can lie me Shabbos, and those that drink lime Shabbos to a Paskin. Since you go up to the sky, but he can lie, can also go up to the sky in its first passage by Shabbos as well. I'll die to the Rebbe, my be clear, my be payo. So, Taka, what's the difference? Why is Kor only up to 20 Amos, and why is the Tursa Pesach all the way up to the sky? So it says, I'll tell you why. Very, a little bit of a difficult line. Korah tells me Ruach Achas. Now, the way the stipler's son explains that, Korah works on one side, meaning it doesn't have walls. It's only a beam. It's not connected to the ground. It's really, logically, it's suspended in midair. Right? Because it doesn't have to stand on anything. It doesn't have to stand on anything. So Korah... Uh, uh, that's why it has limitations. Can't be above twenty amos. A tourist pesa works because it's solid to the ground, meaning it's 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 uh, it's uh, it's on all four sides. Here on all four sides, according to the type of the sun, really if you carry it through, I don't know if you carry it through on this point. And all four sides is mean top, bottom, and and two sides, right? So it's really a defined wall. And ever since it's a defined wall, it has no the the maximum proportions as long as it's uh, lar- as, as large as it is, that's fine. Okay? The tie and it's going like Kai the Mahabizir like Rabizir said name Rabinura. A tzuras the best doesn't work unless it's closed on four sides. Okay. Amrayu Abra Bar Memel Tatrapulayos Shabakromim. This is a uh, is uh, this is either an awning in a vineyard or so, some of the some of the unfortunately are explained or change it to Shabakrochim. And it means a roof. Let's say you have a case of this. Very interesting. It's very much a local maisa. Yeah. I know in which language, but. Yeah, what's, what's Greek for roof? What's Greek for roof? Can you use the Torah and Pesach here? That's what the Gemara is just going to discuss. You have here a, a let's say a, a a hut, not even a hut, a shelter, which has four, which is standing on four pegs, right, and has no walls, but it does have a roof. What's the case in the end of the year? Wait, how far? Right before you left. Do we have such a case? No, 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 no. Yeah, we had such a case, but we didn't make... El Sadra, right. So there, we... we, we the, 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 it, it's, oblique, uh, it's the same case, but it's obliquely re- related, and that Yushami comes to, to negate what the Bali does never exactly address. Why don't you say here? And the truth is, I address this in my book. I forgot what I said about my book. Your loss. <laughs> but uh, I forgot. I, I didn't know this was me, but I just assumed that this is the case. That uh, without knowing the Ushami, but the by Ushami is explicitly it doesn't say Tzuras Pesach over here. Why? Because it's a roof is not a Tzuras Pesach. Tzuras Pesach has been expli- a, 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 a distinct door frame. Okay. If it's not a door frame, it doesn't work. It does, but there's no pole here on top. 
Oh, I see. I just drew in a pole. Oh, I see. That's the roof. That's exactly its point. It's like a canopy. It's what right. It would have to have a distinct feature on it in order to be able to see through the best of Overhang. Right. And that won't make sure it's a vessel. That's exactly the point. Okay. So it says, 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 Alright, Pilchos. As of the coming Rabbi Yirmiya, case came for Yirmiya on the other end. Barabaham would aim with four pillars, Valem Arba Patstalios, and upon them there are four bream, beams of some sort. Obviously not a normal kind, because then it would be Pasha. The Shiori Korban tries to make this a specialized case. But in any event, there are four beams on top of four, each one on top of two posts, right? Four posts all together. And the Italatalta Mishum Pale. He said, This is a Teresa Peso, that's legit. Rabbi Boon for Rabbi Boon. So the Lieberman says it's not a mistake. There were a couple of Rabbi Boons, right? The Rabbi, Rabbi, this is the, one of them, at least, I was the Rabbi Avun who's buried in Kesarin. But the, uh, the Rabbi Chaim Kanievsky says it is a mistake. It's supposed to be Rabbi Boon for Rabbana. Okay, it's a typo. Rabbi Boon, Rabbi Boon, Rabbi Boon, Kuli, Rabbi Zir, they asked for Rabbi Zir, Pe, Pe, Maosh, Tatsu, Pesuka, now this one, which is not in the Bavli. Does the tourist of Pesach work by a sukkah? Can you build a sukkah based solely on the principle of tourist of Pesach? No walls. That's because you're you've been you've been brainwashed by the Bavli. Right. Exactly. Right. It's We're here to open your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Take out your mental can opener, and real because the tourist of pencil is also a wall. That's right. That's real. Yeah. So you have four walls with no. Walls. So you have to you have four walls. You just think you can walk through it, but it's actually a wall. Right? So that's what he says here. It works! You can build a sukkah based on the principles of the Pesach. The Bible doesn't say that, right? The Bible says, But that's what he says. That's what the, 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 the Yushan, at least here in Erev, it says. So, uh, 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 says Gemara, but long lines are just asked. What about if you don't have a tourist pestle? Well, you have the schach itself sitting on four staves, on four stakes. So I'm not an eighth of schach matzu besuka. That doesn't work. What's the difference? I lost a little bit. Yeah. Between the source of Pesach, mm-hmm. the answer is Omer mm-hmm. Long, Pesach Matzos. Right. So, that it works. Right. Okay. Uh, so, you don't have a separate source of Pesach, you just have the, the Schach itself. You just have the Schach? The end of the Schach, literally. So, Schach means the end of the Schach. But it means the overhang of the Schach. No, it's not an overhang, though. It's just a, a level on top of your sukkah. Okay. An overhang might be better. Right, there is no overhang. Mm-hmm. What's supporting the schach? Four poles. Four poles. You can have a woven roof. Mm-hmm. So, and no source of Pesach, no nothing, no walls. Right. Yeah. So he says it doesn't so work. Under what principle? What? It's the same question we had over here, the pre- previous case, by the, the Achsadra type situation. Okay. You're right, it's extension, but so we just learned that it does, that's why it doesn't work, okay? So it says, Armalon ain't so schach, so it's schach matzo besuka. Ma ben zu malazu. What's if it's whether you have, whether you have a tourist of Pesach or just a schach itself? So it's then asalakam, it's then asalakam. Tourist of Pesach is made for the opening. 
The schach itself is made for the schach. It's not part of a tour of the so It's very basic difference. I'm Rabbi said, Kol Elaine Milayo is a cool line in the Rushami. Oh, I have a couple times about me, something similar, but not expressed the same way. Kol Elaine Milayo, all these things we discussed, even in Mesa, we made them. This is bar- barter in the base, uh, banter in the base, Medrash. Right? Mesa of Meta means Maso Matan, means in the uh, discussion. That's all discussion. But the Paskin, you can build a suk on the base of Tzuras HaPesach, also Lahoyleis. You're forbidden to for Paskin that way, Lahoyleis. But it's interesting because it sounds like it's a Xavier. In other words, really, it would work theoretically, but we're afraid people won't understand how such a thing could be. There's no walls, so that's why we didn't allow it. Can I just ask a ridiculous question at this point? Here sure. we are. Only here. one. Era so so long. Yeah. What exactly does Surus of Pesach accomplish? Is it accomplish it? Does it become made or does it accomplish it as a wall? It's clearly What's it's the only difference? a wall. The door it's not made If you're distinguishing between the two concepts, it's not made It's like a wall because you have a sheet of Rabbi Yochan the Asu Rabbi Valim Mechitzta. That if you have masses walk, walking through a tourist of it cancels it. If it's made, so then they should never be able to cancel it. It means as it's a wall, relatively speaking. When Rabbi Yochanan, we don't pass him, we pass him every last day, law of Surabim Vadlim Mechitza. But like Rabbi Yochanan, who passed him, it's a Surabim Vadlim Mechitza, which is the way the Mishkan is Yaakov passing So I came, it's obviously only Mechitza, Rabbim or not Bokeh, so you can't carry it, call it Omei. So it's a barrier. So I thought it was a barrier. It's not a barrier. Even that doesn't. I always look at it as, as like a, yeah. to eliminate a, like a Pirzo or something like that. Right, because it closes it off. It talked to close oh, off, oh, 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 but again, not as omade, but rather as uh, as a wall, as a look status as wall, and that it's considered impervious because oh. people are walking through it. So that's why when I be open, you have enough people walking through it, they cancel the wall. Okay, now my sukkah kala domar osir. What? You're right. Now we don't we don't allow it. Now it says more. Wait a minute. If my sukkah kalat Omar Osir, sukkah which is more lenient, you said it's forbidden to build a sukkah on the basis of the Pesach. Shabbos chamur lo koshkin should be allowed to make an enclosure on the basis of Tzura Pesach. Rabbi Boon Bar Chia Bal Kumi Rabbi Zera, and Rabbi Boon Bar Chia asked for Rabbi Zera Man Tana Pei Matelas. Who's one who said that you can make a source of Pesach based Eruv? Must be Rabbi Yochum ben Nuri. Rabbi Yochum ben Nuri holds, uh, as the um, Forshim explained here, okay. that Paretz Murba Lamed is okay, but like the rest of us, it's Osir. On my lace, he said, Take Hadat Tana. He's the only Tana holds that we that way. We, however, the mainstream of the Ushalmi, he says, hold that you can't make a source of Pesach on a complete perimeter of an Erev on Shabbos. Unless the tourists of Pesach are hard far apart, this is less than ten hours. This sheet is it, this yeah. sheet is in the Bible? Oh. No. The, the only sheet that I know of in about me is the one that says at least it's fifty fifty. It's okay. We're forgetting though the Rambam. How's Rambam pass about tourists of Pesach? Mm-hmm. Yeah, a brisker. You have to remember this. <laughs> a little brisker. I'm passing the tour of Pesach. What is wrong with Pesach? We're, we're brisker at it, tells her. He says that... Uh, <laughs> <he's>, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> he says that you know you have to have a tour of Pesach every ten hours. Unless it's, that's the famous brisker Chumra. Briskers are machmir even if you don't know if it's just a rabbi. They hold you need every ten amas unless you have oimer mrubela parts. If you have oimer parts, more structure than free space. This Ramam passes. If you have more structure than standing, which seems like the Ushami essentially, if you have more structure than standing space. Then the tzuras surpasses only a uh, you know, it's a drabara, but it's a chumra because you really have true walls. 
So therefore, in that case, the tzuras pesos can be more than ten amos apart. But if there's no tzuras removal of parots and your walls are solely based on tzuras pesos, then the Rambam holds the tzuras pesos have to be within ten amos of each other. Have I answered your question? I failed your question. Yes, the answer. My question was. Yeah. It seemed like the Bible. The, the, the most Bible argues in this. Right, right. Right. was never have uh, right. parts move all of it. You have it if it's fifty-fifty. There's one view in the Gemara. Right. It's okay. Oh, we yeah sure. So this is but the Raman Paskin is like the two Shami evidently because he power holds that Tzuras Pesach limit to the ten Amos. Okay. Okay. Uh, but keeping the Kani, one is allowed to make a, a perimeter. With with reeds which are standing up and, and making a fence. Actually, a big kodesh chaber as long as you treat each reed, you don't have three tvachim. So just tvachim. But shayoru dibru all these clues which we have based on the walls which are not to see by air of not chain link is only by a caravan. Dibru Rabbi Yehuda. Chomrim lo dibru chachomim ba lo shayoru chachomim does not say that when Chazal said you need a wall. They didn't draw a distinction between a caravan and anything else. However, they truly talk about all cases which exist, and therefore you never need a uh, a um, a crisscrossed wall, a chain link wall. What you need is a horizontal or vertical wall by itself. Says nevertheless, says Mish, the Komachitza She'ena Shul Shosiv Shal Erev, a wall which does not crisscross. And a machitz is not about wall. Diver Rabbi Yisro Rabbi Yehuda. The Chachar Meim Echol Mishnei Dvarim. Only one of the two, either Chris or Cross, but not necessarily both. I would very important to imagine it. There are four things that are exempt in a camp going out to war. We may see Mukamakom. They're allowed to take wood from wherever they desire to make their fires. But during machitz time, don't have to wash hands before eating. With the mai, they don't have to mice or the mai. Mila rape, they don't have to make a ruin. Okay, now the one is going to discuss all those things. Says the word for the Mekivim Mekani, the Shayora, was allowed to make a perimeter based on, on reeds or on uh, on bamboo shoots, whatever you want to call them, by a um, caravan, the Verabuda. That's called Rabuda. A Yachi, it's a Shtiva, Shtiva Erev. But a Yachi, it sounds like there's only a Kula by a caravan. It's only these who travel by caravans. Not by an individual. An individual has to make a full wall, which is a crisscross chain link wall. Va Asagmara Rabida Maishta Ben Yaklishara. Why was Rabida only allowed this this kula of building a one way wall, either horizontal or vertical for a share? Why does he will allow this also for an individual? The more doesn't answer this question. It's a good question. It's not consistent. Raguan goes on to another question. Rabbanan lo mishani ben yochel l'shayara. The Rabbanan natural distinction between an individual and a caravan that no matter what's required for an individual to require for a caravan and vice versa, is that true? Let me ask you. Nishmina miado. Let's bring a ride for the following case. What does it say in the following case? Shayara shulchan es betel. A shayar which camped in a uh, in a uh, mound. Shugavah sar tvachim, which is more than tvachim off the sea level. Beneka uh, shama kasara. They they t- tented in a depression, which is more than tvachim deep. Begina, they tented in a uh, in a uh, in a courtyard. In a not a courtyard. A what? Vegetable garden, right. Shibukev is God there, which is surrounded by a fence. Metautalin, now this Magirs is very m- m- old messed up here. It should be Metautalin, um, well, let's see in the Carbonada. The Carbonada and the last of the last of the wide lines, so it's line number four. Holly Garcia, Metautalin, Bikula. You just take out the next few words. Time, but Kula have actually Sharu base a sign upon it. You can carry in the entire, um, in the entire enclosure as long as you don't have a, an empty base of sign. Do you remember that case from the first paragraph of Erevin? Remember the case? No clue. There are two ways of looking at, at how much room you give isolated hikers or travelers. Do you give them 
each of base so sign we need five thousand square armor so you give them as much as they want as long as there's no five thousand armors empty within their perimeter you see the difference no. yes okay so here is saying uh, 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 you can carry the entire thing as long as you don't leave a base of time open that's like the other P that we don't parcel out based on inhabitants right but as long as you have three or more you get the entire enclosure as long as you don't leave anything a base of time area empty right so uh, uh, this is a this is uh, uh, so this was ours our second sophie what was our seven second sophie that uh, we asked whether there's a difference between a shayor and an individual, right? We said there's no difference, and is that true? Rabbanu lo mishani ben gishayor kol shayor. So Nesson Yushami says, yeah, there's no difference. I prove it to you. Why? Because even if you have a shayor, you still can't leave a base of time open. You got to fill up every last available. No, not every last, but and so that there no. There's no, there isn't 5,000 square almost left unused. We see that this principle, this price is, is reflecting that principle even in the case of a price. Right? Not in case of a price. So we play this principle even in the case of um, Shayara. case of Shayara. In other words, I might say by sure it's more lenient. You can leave a base of sign open. Right? It's only by an individual. Since the Bryson doesn't distinguish between an individual and a whole caravan, must be the, the assumption of Gurnabonan. As astounding as that assumption was, is correct. And what does that assumption tell us? There's no difference between a Shayora and a Yochit. Whatever parameters apply to a caravan, apply to a solitary individual as well. Okay? Say it tomorrow further. Um. Rabbi Yaakov B'Shem Rabbi Chino said, I feel like I feel like Now this is not relevant directly to our conversation. We're merely going to go back to our previous conversation. But he says you can even use saddles and even um, and even uh, uh, bedpans to make the um, to make the uh, the Eru. Do you remember how that works? Maybe I'm wrong. Is it to be I don't think it's in the Mishnah. Mrs. Do you remember that picture? Using the saddles? The picture had to be up to Oh. So you must remember this picture. It's one of the most beautiful pictures in the parish night. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I forget. Okay, so this is just uh, so you can use anything. I feel kufas, I feel I've eaten. Um, you're right. It sounds like it is a Mishnah here. No. The, I don't know. Maybe probably it is part of the Mishnah. Because he had. Maybe it is. Somehow I'm actually too lazy to go get more, but I think you're right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Now we get back to the previous uh, issue. Now, this is general principle which we have, which we're going to discuss really in some detail here, which is uh, which it's good to have the parish chai, which is that uh, a ba- you, 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 each guy gets a base or side. Right? Each guy gets a base of sign. Generally speaking, we did, uh, a base of sign means 5,000 square hours. We have a picture of that. This guy, get, one guy gets one base of sign. And then there's an opinion, two guys get two base of sign. There's an opinion that uh, uh, three guys get as much as they want. As long as they don't leave a base of sign empty, like I mentioned a moment ago. Okay, that's this picture here. Three guys, as long as there's no base of sign empty. All right, now we're going to discuss that. Um, 
Mr. Abinam Ravad Adam. At each person, you have to have a person in each base assignment in order to get a base assignment, right? The Mar Rabbi Yibor, B'Shem Rav Chuna, Rav Bos and Rav Chuna, Echod Oshnaim, No Sum and Base Assign. One or two, you give them. Oh, he has a different sheet though. Sorry, he says you give one or two people a base assign. One person gets a base assign. Two people get the same base assign. Shleisha, if you have three people, no Sum Base Shishu Shishu Say. You give them six. And you keep adding a base assignment afterwards for each person who's there. So he owes one or two, get two. Three gets six. And then four gets eight. And five would get ten, and so on and so forth. Add in for an item. Okay, is that clear? All right? That's his sheet, though. I don't remember that in Bavli, but it says here, Ervin Design, so maybe I'm wrong. Um... Now, in order to get a shayora, which gets six or more, right, you have to have at least three people. And make a caravan. And akumashim shayora. However, goy cannot be part of the constituent number of people in the caravan. What about a child? Good question. Probably doesn't have, the Yushami doesn't answer it. The Yushami goes on to another issue. Hey, Chavidah. Well, to exclude it, uh, I don't know if I agree with you. Because they didn't want people traveling with Koyim. Oh. It was Shemayim, so Stegma. The same reason they didn't allow Erev Chatseras with the, with the Koyim. Because they want him to be so chorushus in order that you should not be able to live with him. Because he's not going to want to be so chorushus to you. So, so to here, they don't want you traveling with the Goya as your third partner in a caravan. It's a public safety issue. I was thinking about that. So that yeah. Okay, maybe. I'm not making that. I'm making it up, obviously. But hey, it's just as good as anything else, right? No, of course he did have the incident. But now, Echavida, this is not a caravan issue. This is a variation on the theme which is discussed a moment ago about the size of the enclosure. Hayushnaim, there were two Jews, let's say. and they made one Arab together, right? The, now, when they made this Arab together, uh, uh, a goike, and they made it within the the the, the uh, permissible parameters. Uvo akum, then a goya whoever came on tribe of Svaipi, they expanded it. So let's say they had four uh, two saw in in their parameters, in their perimeter, or even four, according to being that two guys get each a base saw. But then a goy came expanded it to five. When Shabbos, basically, when Shabbos came in, there were only two of them there, and since Goy doesn't make up a caravan for them, so therefore they don't get any more, and they're forbidden to carry. The Goy expanded the perimeter on them; they lose their right to carry even in the middle of Shabbos. Okay, we don't say came to Hutra Hutra by Mechitzas. We don't say it's at the beginning of Shabbos. Mutter remains Mutter. We don't say that. If the Goy came and expand them now beyond the permissible limits, tough luck. However, what about vice versa? There were three. The Irvu Shnaim Ervin, and made two Ervin. Now here, two is Lavdafka. How many can they actually make three? They made six, right? In other words, they made large in measure. Uvrachum v'pichets and a goy came with the diminished area which they had. Then that's okay, obviously. Koy Nicholas says Shabbos better. When Shabbos began, they were allowed to have six saw, so they're okay. Rabbi Dripa, like that one. Rabbi Dripa. Am I? Am Rabbi Nisa? Say name Rabbi Nisa. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's a, yeah. It said Rabbi Nisa Shol. Rabbi Nisa asked, "Maoli tin lem sholos roshi tur." This is a very funny case. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what you gained by that, but the case is you have your pictures. I'll send you tomorrow. Oh, there it is. Remember, it's three guys that give each of them a base saw, a base saw sign. Can I give it them like this? A rectangle with three triangles in it. 
Now, I don't know what you gain by giving it that that in that way. The conventional wisdom would be to give each one a slice, right? A regularly shaped slice. But somehow the question is, can I give them in any shape I want, including like a two, three triangles inscribed within a square? What? Obviously it matters to him. I don't know why it matters in practice. Are you making a definitive statement? Okay, that's part of the question. Can I change the shape or am I limited to a static shape? But I don't know what can you gain by making it a different shape. Maybe the contours of the land are better for you. I don't know. But in any event, that's the more question. The more, of course, does not resolve that question. Okay? She has a maulite and shoshua tori. She has them at altos and In other words, that my triangle enters into what appears to be the area of your triangle. But them at altos and times just that, even though it really doesn't, uh, it doesn't work, and we don't know. Rabbi Yaakov Shemir Chizdoi said, "I said Rabbi Yosi Rabbi Yuda. Rabbi Yosi Rabbi Yuda in our Mishnah is going b'shita sovi. Rabbi Yosi in our Mishnah is one of old." That a caravan needs a uh, that a, a uh, for more than a base of time you need a true wall, a chain link, or a crisscross wall. How so? Um, I see he goes like his father. One thing and argues his father another thing. Bishita so if he goes like his father. Typos coming up. Biyachi pachos me base of time. Change the yester to pachos. That Yochid ha- is limited to less than a base of sign. Individuals less limited to less than base of sign, up to base of sign. The Chaluk Alav even Yochid is far and farther by Shayora, by a caravan, because there he says, Beyetzer me base of sign. Because there, in a case where it's more than a base of sign, he argues, because he says if it's more than a base of sign by a caravan, what? You said there was no distinction. Rabbi Yisrael just said there is. Chacham says no difference. But what about what about by moment second? Right. Where Carbonator brings that. Carbonator says, you argue with Rabbi Huda's father, Rabbi Huda allows by a caravan, if it's a caravan, even more than a base of sign without Shasivar. And he says, you want more than a base of sign? You always need Shasivar. You don't always need a crisscrossing fence. So in this case, his requirement is consistent with Rabbi Yisrael's consistent requirement for a crisscrossing chain link fence. He puts him in agreement with his father once and a disagreement with his father once. Agreement with his father that they both don't require that for less than a base of sign. Only for more than a base of sign. That's the agreement. In a more than a, in by Shayora, however, Rabbi Yehuda himself said, you have a Shayora, you don't need a crisscross fence. Rabbi Yehuda, the answer, you know, by Shayora, you need a crisscross fence. Okay? Now, where do we find that Rabbi Yudah Omer Rabbi Yudah says B'yachid hmm, I change this to Yod, from Yosir to Pachos because Carbonata does but this type of son doesn't and now that I'm reading it I, I, I'm against changing it I'm leaving it the way it was let me write the crosses out here Right. Where do we find Rabbi Yudah Omer B'yachid Yosef Beis Asayim Tzorosh Tiverev? That Rabbi Yudah agrees that by Yochid, if it's more than a Beis Asayim, it needs to see Verev. Right? And we, where do we find something like this? Nishmina. They both said Kishem. No. I'm upset. I'm, I, I take back the fact that I raised it. I take it back. I'm putting it back. Sorry. Don't mind me. I'm just babbling incoherently. Because it's Yes. You'll see why in a minute. Okay. 
ואין אשכרה דרבידו אמר ביוכיד יוצר בייס אסיים צורך שסיבר, היפוכס מבייס אסיים צורך שסיבר, היינו דקור רבידו, אם לבית לסן בייס אסיים, you need a crisscross chain link fence, how do we know that? I'll tell you why. דומר רבי אחו רבי אחו סט, תן רבי חיים רבי אסי בשער ראשי סט, כשם שחלו כיכר כך חילו מקיליים. Just like the machlokas over here, so too the machlokas by kilaim. Now kilaim, you don't need a base of sign to constitute a field. Far less than a base of sign is a field. Kilaim lovely base roiva. The share of a field by kilaim which requires distances, even a quarter of a saw. One eighth of a base of sign. Yet we say that whatever applies by the machlokas which we have by kilaim, by Shabbos, is the same machlokas by kilaim. What's the machlokas? Whether I need crisscross or not. Because Rabban holds I don't. Rabbi Yudah holds I do. If I have the same machlokas by Shabbos and by Kilim, it must be that he holds just that even by less than a base of Asayim, I still need a crisscross friend. Because by Kilim, we're certainly always talking about less than a base of Asayim. Okay? That's, that, that's the proof. Okay. Now, Going on to the next part of the mission, the rest of the prayer is very easy. We exempted four things in army camp. Uh, you don't need aid to make an air, because a dime, you can take as much wood as you want, and uh, you don't have to marfish to mine, right? Kami Machne, what is the size of an army camp? Rabbi Chanin Amar Meir, 100 people. By a vote, Gidon Meir Isha Sharito Bixia Machne. It says Gidon came with 100 people with him to the edge of the of the, the camp. How many people did Gidon have altogether? <laughs> Good answer. You'll get far in the net in the Bible contest with that answer. <laughs> How many did Gidon have? Not too many. <laughs> 200? Yes. 300. So he divided them into three parts. 100, 100, 100. So it says he came with 100 to the edge of the, the machine. Now it wasn't his machine, it was the machine of Midian who he was actually fighting against. So that's Ravina boy. Ravina asked, Ilomar machine van Hashima Sharito Meo. If he would have said uh, uh, that that uh, that he was a machna with the hundred people with him, that's good, Yos. But here it says he came to the machna. He wasn't the machna. The machna was below him. So that's no proof that a machna is a hundred. Rabbi Romer, I saw. Rabbi says ten people comprise a machna. How we know? Because says by Avon Nare to David, the, the lads of David came by Dabro Novel. They spoke to Novel at the time was the husband of Abigail. And it says the Gomer, etc. And the next word is by Anuchu, which we touch to mean they were a machne. Ma by Anuchu, Rabbi used to bash bashuna amar nasu machne. So we see a machne is ten. Rabbi Yehuda Bazi Omer asora also ten. Why? Because ad la machne godo ke machne elokim to a great camp like a camp of God. So we see a camp is defined as the camp of God. The Kama Machne Lukim, what is the camp of God? Asura ten people. That's already camp of God. Because that makes a meaning, right? Tiny Mishem Rabila Shnei Masal Elf Kim Machne Israel. A camp is twelve thousand, like the camp of the Jews when they went to wage war against the Midianites in Pashus Pinchos. So that's why a camp is twelve thousand. One thousand for each chamber were brought there. So a camp is twelve thousand. Now, continuing further along these lines, the army goes out to an optional war. Not No, didn't define their machna. In Bava, there are far uh, ascribing socio-historic reasons to this phenomenon. No, I wouldn't say that. I would say that I was about to say that, although that may be true. I was about to say is that since in Bava they were many years removed from warfare, so therefore they had no tradition as to what a machna was. Whereas in Israel. Well, they had just gotten finished with the years and years of revolt, so therefore they're much closer to what the uh, this is how almost a for them, right? So only slightly archaic. 
All right, that's what I would say off the cuff. Time share we uh uh I ate some khamish shoes, people go out to an option war, we turn because they'll eat some lachum, they're allowed to steal moist wood. But certain because they'll eat some creation but not dry wood because it's already designated by the owner to use for a fire. I had some khamish khaiva. However, when Yoshua sure, obviously, this is obviously stealing from a guy. No, from a Jew. I mean, stealing from a guy. Yeah, yeah, stealing from a Jew. Now, this is all because Yoshua sure made these conditions when they entered Eretz Yisrael. That's what what, what gave what gave the permission to do this. Okay. The Chemis Rishos. They're outside of the land, outside of the land of Israel, as it is per se. Yes. Okay. The Chemis Choyva, I had to say the Chemis Choyva, a mandatory war such as the conqueror of Israel itself, or a protective war, Mutar Megez Laetzim Yevashim Villachim, they can even seal the dry wood. And Bedin El-Bayd Rav Ketina B'Shem Rav Chuna said there's a limit. We're on the top now of Yud Gimel. If they were made into a bundle already, also, then that's too great an act of theft. Because once they're bundled, clearly they are acquired by the owner thereof. Now, this may all be true, says the Gemara, when the wood is not adjacent to a pers- private forest. What if the wood is adjacent to a private forest where we know for sure it belongs to the individual who owns the forest? Can you still take it? And of course, the Yushami doesn't answer that. Now, the Yushami goes on to a different question. We say you don't have to wash, wash the tails of your dime. When you're out in the camp, that's when you're not near a fountain. You're even exempt until this time when you're right near a fountain. More doesn't doesn't resolve that either. Now let's say they had the soldiers. The next case had the Mai out in the fields when they were waging the war. So that the Mai is exempt from When they go into the city, Kfarnifteru. So they don't have to take out Trumas Mises on this Dema either because already got a halacha being exempt because when it was out in the field it was exempt. However, Yotsu and when they left the city to go to war, they took fruit with them which was Dema since when they acquired the fruit it was not yet potter, even later on when it goes to the battlefield it's not yet potter. So we're always looking at how, what its status was when it got into their hands, and that status remains for it down the line. Okay, it's a very big finish. Right? I would not have said that, but that's what Yerushalmi says. What? Rabbi Yosef B'Shem Rabbi Yosef B'Shem Rabbi Yosef B'Shem Rabbi Yosef B'Shem Rabbi Demai. What is the word Demai? What is the etymology of the word Demai? It's really a couple of words missing. It should be Demai. TK and low TK. What is it? Is it correctified or not rectified? That's the etymology of the word tomorrow. Okay? Milari. The people in the camp don't have to make an Arab. But Erev Tchumen, they have to make us Erev Tchumen's Doraiso. Ask Gemara, wait a minute, what do you need an Erev Chatseris in the Machna for? What are they doing with this Erev Chatseris? What are they carrying with it? Right? What's so necessary? Says in my notes, it says, restore all of your machne, because they had to move the tents. So they had to move the tents, they needed an Arab Chatzeris. They said it was necessary for them. Kadad the Tayyats had learned, all of your machne, the tents in in the camp, I might have thought you need Arab Chatzeris for that. There's a typo here as well, Carbonated, it says, answer him Arab. They should require an air, but since it's a machine, since it's an army camp, Chazal exempted you from an air, right? All the Yushim B'Shayoga, but you want to move tents which are in the caravan. Even if it's more to move them, they're not, uh, you know, stuck into the ground somehow. For that, another typo, Srich in air, they require an air because it was only exempted by army camps, not by anything else. Okay? Yudamitei Momer, additional exemptions of an army camp. They can camp anywhere they want, even in the middle of a field. Where they are killed, there they are buried. 
meaning you don't dump them to mass graves, Jewish soldiers. They shouldn't be like those who are killed by marauding bandits who are piled into mass graves. Rather, each person who dies gets his own grave. It doesn't mean actually where they die. No, that's not brought down in the Ushami here. The honor of the Ushami holds of that. Babli says where they die and bury them. Right? About the end of the first paragraph. Yeah. Here's not brought down. The contrary. Look at this. East tiny tiny also for us. Those say you can't move them. East tiny tiny mutter for us. Those say you can't move them. Amrav Chizdoyer Chiz said, "Mandam our mutter for us. And when you allowed to move the dead bodies, bimchunasim when there are a pile of them. So again, you don't want to bury them in a mass grave, so you move them. Mandam our also for us." Well, it says you can't move them in Fuzorim when they're scattered. So since they're scattered, so therefore bury them individually. Period. Mm-hmm. Okay? Maybe it's an allusion to what the Bible says, but I'm not sure. Kishem Shabali Chosim Batorim Yabadorim came because they're also just like when they go to war, they're exempt from the Mai, from Erev Chatseris, from Teosidaim, and they're allowed to stake, take wood. So to when they come back from war, they're allowed to do the same thing. Batorim Yabadorim. From the following, it says, "Somebody who's fearful and trembles." This is by the war against. Um, I forget which war this is. It's the war of Gino. Yeah, it's the war of Gino. Let him go back and scout from the top of Mount Mount Gilad. As you do, show me. Why do I have to go, go back and gaze and scout? Let them just go back, hang their head, hang their tail tails between their their legs, and you know, and scram. So the reason is because we've never seen him. Because whenever you go, even away from war, there are always people waiting to ambush you, right? There are always people who hate you, and you have to always be aware, even when you're fleeing from the battlefield, that maybe you're going to be sniped at. So therefore, you're parting from the four things also on your way back to the battlefield, not just on your way to the battlefield. Rabbi Yisrael Bun said, "B'shem Rab, k'shem shemali chosam b'turim me'ar ba'dvari in kach b'chazosam b'turim me'ar dvari." The same principle, just like when the way there they're exempt, so on the way back they're exempt. Let's just go a little bit further. Go to the present. It's as far as I prepared, but oh. might as well get that one base. Hajlach mavli. I think the first break wasn't so bad. Also, Pasi You make four Pasi Biros, right? That's a cute case. We all know Pasi Biros, right? No. Oh, yes, you do. Here. Here, here. Oh. The walls for the cattle to drink. That's right, that's right. Okay? Also, right. Pasi Biros. Arba You make four pillars on the four corners. Near and Kishmaj look like eight because they're double sided. Divir Abida. You make eight, because you make here the ones in the middle, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? Near in name also, which look like twelve, because the ones in the middle are not doubled. Okay? Arabic human, four double ones, for shooting men, four single ones. Kremnas are twenty that release ten fucking high, broken shisha at least six fucking wide. Volume and Koshu, the thickness can be no matter how little. Ubeinem, between, between each two of them, Kimole, Kimole, Shtei, Riv, Koshu, Shol, Shol, Shbokar, you have to be able to get in two sets of three cows apiece, not this picture, because this is four cows apiece. Miramer, I mean, I'm going to Arba, four cows apiece. Kshuros, Vlo, Mutoros tied together, which packs them slightly together. Mutoros not untied. Achaz and Ches Ve'achaz Yoyt is one set going in and one set going out. We will stop here for this evening.